Hey everyone, I'm the Taylorette, and this is a video on a few tips and tricks that I've reserved from some of my previous projects to put in this video. First, I will start with how I do my alterations evenly on both sides. I have the base of the bodice made, the basic idea, and the front is going to be super big. Okay, so I chop some of that off, and I'm, I'm cutting this side first, and then I'll replicate it on the other side. Okay, so how I do this is just like I've done in the other videos. I take this around and I'll match the front here, this front piece down here, make sure it's all lined up. And then I take the sleeve part and I match all the seams. So the side seams, make sure the side seams are lined up so the holes are the same because we basically want to replicate it on the other side. Okay, just like that. Then I might pin it on the neckline here. Okay, so now that I have that all lined up, literally take my scissors and cut right up against that neckline. And it creates a pattern for the other side. All the way down to the back. that and now we have a replicated side so comment below if you have any other tips that you would like to know about in the meantime we're moving on to the next tip which is working on waistbands and learning how to attach them without doing a bunch of slip stitches i.e. hand stitching and in this next part I will press this down press it down like this and I have a special way of stitching my bands down and I will show you that in this step here. So for this next part how I like to do this is I'll fold, oops, here's the lining of the waistband. This will help you with a lot of other things in sewing too. If you fold it under Fold it under like that. And it might be hard to see this part, but when I fold it under, this is the stitching line right here. I'll make sure that the fold goes just like under an eighth of an inch past the stitching. Or maybe just, I would say an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch is safe. You don't want to see the stitching on the other side. And pin it down. If you flip it over, you can see that stitching there. When it goes over, it covers that stitch, and you don't want the stitching to show. So I would say do make sure the fold goes an eighth of an inch past that stitching. So I'm going to break the rules and stitch over my pins. <laughs> so when I start stitching, I'm basically going to do a stitch in the ditch. So I'm going to stitch right in there, and you're not even going to see it. It's going to be right in that crevice. So take your time when doing this step. I put my needle down in that crevice first, back and forth, and stitch right in that crevice. You see, and all the pins are still in there. If you can see, there's the stitching. It didn't miss, it caught the whole waistband. And this part is open, so I'll hand stitch that closed. There you have those nice stitches. And then when you flip it over, you don't see any stitching at all. You probably noticed that this jacket looks a lot like one of the other videos I've done. I do have a video on how I made this jacket from beginning to end, and I put the link down below. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you found this helpful, and I will see you Tuesday.